apparently missed the memo. But I just want to read a, a brief passage. It's one of my favorites. Second Kings, chapter 6. Um, and I won't read all of it, but uh, I just want to point out four quick things about it. I don't want to step on the preacher's toes too much. Um, but it's the, the prophet Elisha and his disciples. They wanted to go to the Jordan and cut some wood so they could build a, a shelter for themselves where they were. First, it started out like a lot of things with us complaining about something, right? His disciples were like, hey, this place is too small. We want to build something bigger. So it started with a complaint. And the whole thing's a miracle, but I want to point out a couple other little things that, that show or make it one of my favorite passages because of that, other than just the sheer all factor of it. Um, he wasn't going to go at first. His disciples asked him. And he said, uh, they said, please consent to go with your servant. And he answered, I will go. So to me, that's the first point you have to be willing, right? He wasn't even supposed to be there that day. How many times do you hear that's not my job, right? So you got to go. He went with them. And when they came to the Jordan, they cut down trees. There was one was cut down a tree, the iron axe that fell into the water. How cheap y'all think iron was back then? That was a nice axe head. That was, that was top notch. All right, so it hurt my heart. If I lost, I mean, this is a wax head. I bought an antique store. I'd hurt my heart if I lost this one. But back then, that was precious, right? So, fell into the water, fell into the Jordan River, muddy water, right? You ain't going to get that out. It's easy, and it's probably flowing fast. It's deep. So, he cried out for help. But what do you do, right? You complain. But you know, I need help. What we talked about in Sunday school this morning is when we go to God, we just talk to Him and everything's good, and we need help. So they go to Elisha, the last master for it was borrowed. Even worse, right? <laughs> you know, it's one thing, that's my axe head, but now I borrowed it and lost it. And they say, like, how bad is that? That axe head just went up double in value, right? <laughs> that's how I know. I see that small flames cord every week, right? <laughs> you know, that's a $30 chainsaw in the phone shop. Somebody breaks that's a $150 steel. You know? <laughs> so, trust me, all right? So the man of God said, where did it fall? And he showed him the place. So he cut off a stick and threw it in there, and he made the iron float. He said, therefore, he said, pick it up for yourself. So he reached out in his hand and took it. So granted, the iron floating, that's a miracle, right? But one last thing I want to put off. What did it say about the stick, right? Cut off the stick. They had other axes, right? They didn't break off the stick. That wasn't the only axe they had. He could have said, hey, man, we'll just, you know, hey, that's lost. Sorry, we got other axes. Let's move on. But they cut off the stick. Because it meant something to that guy, God knew it meant it to that man. Yeah. And so, that's what. Amen.